Hey everybody, welcome back to another painting tutorial for Blood Red Skies. Today I'm going to be going through the Mitsubishi Zeros again, but this time I'm going to be doing their green colour scheme rather than their white. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it helps. When your model is ready to paint, uh, put yourself a quick primer down, and for this I used a light grey. The first paint you want to get is Spaceship Exterior from Army Painter. Uh, and this paint you want to apply to the underside of your plane. As with all the paints in this tutorial, I have added a few drops of water just to improve the, um, the sort of flow of the paint so it doesn't clog up the recesses. Uh, and I did two coats of this. Once the two coats have dried, we're ready to move on to the next step. The next paint I got was Griffin Blue from Army Painter. Uh, and for this, I did the canopy. Uh, as in all of my tutorials, canopies are down to personal preference. Um, I just thought this one looked better with the darker color plane. Uh, I did it slightly different this time. Normally I sort of put a base coat down and then get put this over the top because there's quite a lot of uh, individual panels on this. I thought I'd try a different technique uh, to just paint the whole canopy uh, one color. And then obviously we'll touch up later with the base coat. The next paint you want to get is Angel Green uh, and that paint you want to apply to the entire top side of your model and across them little lines in your canopy so you'll have to get your small brush out. It took two coats to cover uh, but they were thinned down so it uh, didn't obscure any detail uh, so don't be afraid to put you know a couple of thin coats on if you need if you want it you know two three coats entirely up to you uh, but when you are working around the edges of the wings between the Angel Green and the spaceship exterior just take a few extra minutes just to be careful because uh, if you do get the green on the underside of the plane, you're obviously gonna to have to get your, the previous paint out uh, and touch it up. Um, but obviously once this step's complete, we us move on to the next one. Once all your angel green has dried, uh, get yourself some uh, mask and tape. For this I used uh, two mil mask and tape from Tamiya. Um, and I'm gonna now apply some thin lines of yellow on the front of the wings. Um, so sort of roughly put your mask and tape across the model as you can see in the video now. Uh, and make sure you do press it down quite firmly onto the model because you don't want your sort of paint slipping under your mask and tape. Um, but for the first paint you wanna apply once that's all in place is Skeleton Bone from Army Painter. Um, and that you just sort of thin down because you will have to put a couple of paints over this area now so make sure they are nice and thin uh, and I found that two coats did it it hasn't got to be like a total coverage because like I say you will be applying sort of a yellow paint over the top of this uh, so as long as it takes the sort of the darkness of the green out uh, you're ready to move on to the next step The next paint is Phoenix Flame from Army Painter. Uh, this one you're gonna water down quite a bit because you will have to put a couple of coats on, um, but obviously once them coats are dried, it's ready to move on to the next step. Once the yellow's dried and you're happy with the coverage, it's now time to take the mask and tape off. Uh, just go steady if you can get um, if you get your fingers on it and pull it off, great. But if not, if you need to use a hobby knife, uh, just be careful at this point now not to scratch the models. Uh, but if you do, say it's not a massive issue, uh, just touch it up with the appropriate colour and then it's time to move on to the next step. It's now time to apply the final paint to your model, and that is Necromancer Cloak. This paint you just want to apply to the engine cover. Mm -hmm. 
once all your paints had a chance to dry I've gone ahead now and applied my decals to the model these are the ones that uh, Warlord supply uh, and I've said in a few previous tutorials that they are good decals uh, so they you know they are a, a good choice if you want those um, and I have sealed them in with sort of a I think it was an anti-shine uh, army painter just to seal everything together uh, but once uh, you're happy with your decals it's ready for the wash It's now time for the final stage of the tutorial and that is to put a wash on. For that I've used a quick shade dark tone and the quick shade mixing medium. Uh, roughly mixed sort of 50-50. Um, you can always add more but I always think 50-50 is a good place to start. Uh, and just basically coat the whole model with that and then once that's dried the tutorial's finished. Well, that's the tutorial finished, so I hope you enjoyed that and hope it's going to help you. As always, if you've got any certain colour schemes or any sort of uh, models you want me to paint, stick it in the comments below and I will do my best to do them for you. Uh, but as always, if you like the video, like it. If you like the channel, subscribe.